What's up guys? So the draw for the World Championship has been done. We are literally less than two weeks away now. So I'm going to go through the draw and I'm going to pick out some games which I think are going to be really, really good games. Ones to watch out for for the first round. So anyway, if you do enjoy this video and you want to subscribe, then please do when the road's 20,000. I will also be streaming during the World Championships as well. So come along, chill, watch the darts with me. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure you're subscribed. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. But let's get into the draw first. First. So here is the first quarter of the draw. So we've got Michael Van Gogh in the num number one seed. He'll be playing the winner of Ryan Murray and Lawrence Elagan. Uh, Ricky Evans will be playing the winner of Mickey Mansell and Hapap Puba. Uh, Joe Cullen will be playing the winner of Wayne Jones and Kieran Tian. Johnny Clayton, the winner of John Henderson and Marco Cantelli. And Dave Chisnell will be playing the winner of Keegan Brown and Ryan Meikle. Which brings me to my first standout match. Keegan Brown versus Ryan Meikle. Both young players. I think I think Keegan's probably like 28, 29 now. But Ryan's only 24. So Keegan is a little bit older, but he's still known as a younger player, if that makes sense. Um, but that should be a really, really good game. Ryan's just won the development tour. He's had a good season on the Pro Tour as well. And he played well in the in the last tournament, the Player Championships. Unfortunately, losing to Peter Wright. But he played really well. I think Ryan can win this game. But either way... I feel like that game is going to be a good one. And then the winner plays Dave Chisnell. So I think that whole that whole section, that whole tiny little little uh, 64th of the draw is going to be really, really nice. So Dave Chisnell playing the winner of that match. That'll be a good game as well. So that's one to watch out for. Next up, we've got Danny Noppet. He'll be playing the winner of Martin Clearmaker or Cameron Corolliser. Then we've got Dimitri Vandenberg versus the winner of Luke Humphreys versus Paul Lim. Another good game. This one should be a good one. Obviously, I feel like Luke is probably now the much better player than than Paul Lim is. I have we haven't seen Paul Lim play probably since the last World Championships, but Paul Lim is a huge favourite. The crowd absolutely love Paul Lim. So even if that's not the best high quality game of darts, um, it's going to be a really really well enjoyed match. And obviously Luke Humphries is playing really well, really well as well at the moment. So that's another one of my standout games. Then we've got Jermaine Watamina. He'll play the winner of Dirk Telnex versus Nick Kenny, which again, that should be quite a good game. So onto the second quarter of the draw, starting up with Michael Smith. He'll play the winner of Jason Lowe and Dmitry Gorbanov. Uh, Devin Peterson will play the winner of Steve Lennon and Daniel Larson. That's got some potential to be a good match, I think. Gary Anson will play the winner of Madars and uh, Tori Suzuki, which... Um that's a tough draw for Gary, especially if Madars gets us gets through that match. That's gonna, not going to be an easy, easy first round for Gary Anderson. Um, Mensah Sulevich will be playing the winner of Mike Kuvenhoven and Matthew Edgar. Uh, now, Mike is a player who I, who when I was a referee, I used to mark him and I used to think, I've never heard of you, but you're really good. So that could be a, that could be a good game. I think I think if if, if Mike's does well, um, I think I think Matt's going to do well regardless. He's playing well at the moment. He's in some good form, so that could be a really good game. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Winner plays Silovic, which is you know not bad, not bad. Should be should be a good little good little section. That uh, Rob Cross has got the winner of Dirk Van Divenboda versus Bradley Brooks, which I quite fancy Dirk to come through that one. But either way. The Rob Cross 2020 is not going great. That is a very, very tough first draw. I, if Rob Cross is looking at that, looking at that game, he's probably thinking, "That's yeah, I, I could, I could have had a couple of, couple of, couple of easier players there." Uh, so that's not, not the best draw for him. Uh, Dirk is in really good form at the moment as well. Uh, Jamie Hughes will play the winner of Adam Hunt versus Lisa Ashton again. Whatever the women are playing, we all have to watch it. We all have to cheer them on. So, Adam Hunt, although he's a very, although I'd say he's a crowd favourite because he's, he's just a nice person. He comes across really well on TV. He's obviously played in the last two tournaments as well. Done, done all right in them. So, yeah, um, that's going to be a good good game. Looking forward to that one. Glenn Durrant will play the winner of Steve Beaton versus Diogo Portella. Another good game. This will be another good game. Steve Beaton, obviously, um, he's in his 30th World Championships, which is mental, and he's still playing at a very very high standards so Steve Beaton should be should be uh I, I would fancy Steve Beaton to win that one but you never know with Diogo he's very good but Steve Beaton it, in in I reckon in the odds Steve Beaton will be will be very much favorite for that one and then the winner of that plays Glenn Durrant so Glenn again struggled the last few months obviously just got over COVID-19 so understandably struggled in the last few months but that draw doesn't do him any favours whatsoever. So that'd be a good one to watch out for. And then probably my match of the first round is going to be Adrian Lewis versus the winner of Damon Hetter versus Danny Bagish. 
if we get the Danny Baggish from the last couple of years, uh, or if, if, as long as he plays to to like his best ability, that is going to be a great game. Damon is going to show up no matter what. So that's going to be a really, really good game. And the fact that the winner plays Adrian Lewis as well, another, and like Glenn, like Rob, this is going to be another case of, of good player, not having the best time, but playing well, but just getting terrible, terrible draws. Whoever comes out of that match is going to give Adrian Lewis a one hell of a game. So, yeah. That's going to be good. That's probably my pick for the first round. So next up, we've got the third quarter of the draw, and that'll be Peter Wright versus the winner of Steve West and Amit Gilitswana. Then we've got Gabriel Clemens versus the winner of Annie Hamilton and Nico Kurz. That should be a good match. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Um, Nico is playing really well. Nico had a really good World Championship last year, and then Andy Hamilton, of course, just come back in his first World Championships again for a little while. So it's nice to see him playing. Um, Christoph Ratajski will be playing the winner of Ryan Joyce and Carl Sedlacek. This is probably my number two on my favourite matches of the of the uh, of the first round behind the Damon Hetter match. Um, Ryan Joyce, very good player. Carl Sedlacek is in ex insane form. His form at the moment is really really good, so that could be a good match. And then of course Retiety. Whoever Retiety gets there is going to be a tough match for him. It doesn't matter who gets out of that round. Retiety is going to have a tough first round match for himself or a second round match for himself. Next up, we've got Simon Whitlock. He plays the winner of Darius Labanauskas or Chen Gang Leung. Probably said his name wrong, but yeah, okay, fair enough. Whitlock, I, I fancy Whitlock to come out of those three players. Um, James Wade will play the winner of Callan Ritz and James Bailey. Uh, Stephen Bunting will play the winner of Annie Bolton and Dita Hedman. Again, the women players. We love to see the women players in this tournament. Uh, at least I do, anyway. I, th I think it's good. I think it's really good for the game. Um, so yeah, I, I would, I would definitely fancy Annie Bolton to come out of that one. But you never know. Crowds, the women, the the, the crowds are going to be behind De Dita on that one for sure. Um, so yeah, you never know how the crowds are going to react to that one. Ian White is going to play the winner of Kim Hybrex versus. D. Zhuang. I fancy Kim Hybrex to come out of that one, to be completely honest. And then he could beat Ian White. You never know. Um, Jeffrey Deswan is going to play the winner of Ryan Searle and Danny Lauby. So, on to the next section of the draw. We have got the third seed, Gerwin Price, who will be playing the winner of Luke Woodhouse and Jamie Lewis. Another good game. I'm looking forward to that one. Another two young-ish players. Um, should be a good one. Hopefully, Jamie Lewis plays well. He played really well in the qualifiers, but he's had a terrible, terrible 2020. So I would love to see Jamie Lewis play well. Uh, and either way, I'm, I'm happy with who, whoever wins that match. Uh, winner plays going price. So um, yeah, that's going to be a tough second round for either of them. But I'm looking forward to the first round. Brendan Dolan playing the winner of Mike De Decker versus Edward Folks. Jose De Souza is going to be playing the winner of Ross Smith and David Evans. Okay, I take back my comment about the second favourite. This is probably my second favourite, or at least my third favourite match of the first round. Ross Smith and David Evans. Ross Smith is in really good form at the moment, and David Evans has been he has been the lockdown champion. He's been like the best lockdown player, uh, the best online dart player this year, uh, in my opinion. And yeah, he won the challenge tour. So yeah, well done. I'm looking forward to that game. That should be a really, really good game. Merv King, he'll be playing the winner of Max Hopp versus Gordon Mathers. Nathan Aspinall will be playing the winner of Scott Waits and Matt Campbell. Another another good first round match. This is another one of my picks. Probably like probably one of my top five of, of the first round. Scott Waits and Matt Campbell. Should be a good one. Matt Campbell, not someone who a lot of people knew about until really recently in this World Cup. I, I remember him from last year, but He's this year he played really well in the World Cup. So if he continues that form, he's gonna be a real it's gonna be a struggle for Scott Waits. But I'm looking forward to that game. Should be a good one. Next up is Vincent Van der Voort. He'll be playing the winner of Ron Mullenkamp and Boris Kritschmer. I probably said his name wrong as well. Uh, and then we've got Daryl Gurney who's going to play the winner of William O'Connor versus Niels Zonneveld. Another good game. That should be interesting. I'm looking forward to that one. And then obviously the winner plays Daryl Gurney. I, I definitely think at the moment William O'Connor or Niels Zonneveld could put Daryl Gurney out of this tournament. And then the last match, again, a really, really good Good three players there. Chris Doby is going to play the winner of Jeff Smith versus Keen Barry. So, there are some really good games there. That game in particular is going to be a good one as well. There's about, there's, I would say there's about there's about six or seven real top tier first round draws for a lot for, for some people there. So it's going to be interesting. 
But yeah, anyway guys, that is the draw. Let me know your thoughts. Which games are you going to be your favourites? Which ones are you going to be watching the most? There's a few in there that I'm really, really looking forward to, the ones that I've mentioned. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That'd be really cool. And yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll be streaming the first night of the World Championships and I'll be streaming every single night of the World Championships from then on forward. So if you want to come and join and leave in the afternoon sessions, we're, gonna, we're literally going to do every single session. So if you want to come and join, make sure you're subscribed, turn on post notifications and then uh, come and drop in be really cool anyway guys thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye